My name is Michal Schneider Beeri. Um, I'm a professor in neuropsychology and I, I've been working in the uh, Alzheimer's disease research for many years. I work at the, the Sheba Medical Center in Israel, which is uh, uh, the largest medical center in the Middle East. It's a huge and wonderful hospital. Um, in this hospital, which uh, is 66 years old by now, uh, there is essentially everything is a, is a public hospital uh, with a great uh, variety of uh, medical capabilities of the top-notch levels in the world and a great deal of research, which is what I do here. Uh, I direct the Joseph Sagon Neuroscience Center, which is a small center fully devoted to investigating brain diseases. Uh, the way we investigate it is uh, what we call translational, meaning that our goal are the patients. So we don't do theoretical research. All the research we do, even when we do it in the laboratory, is to find solutions ways to prevent, ways to treat, ways to cure brain diseases. In this kind of work there is a, a great, great deal of passion. Even when people are working on cells, they go and sit down in the patient's clinics to see and remember all the time who they are working for. And that's the, um, maybe the most exciting piece of all the work we do here in the center. My primary academic affiliation uh, is the uh, Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai in New York. I've been there for many years and I continue actually traveling between the two countries, which is uh, a lot of fun, I have to admit, because uh, on the one hand, I bring the incredible things that Mount Sinai can do, it's a huge hospital, into this hospital, including understanding the American federal funding, things that Israel cannot handle in, at this time, because it's a small country, yeah, but also knowledge and know-how. And on the other hand, bringing back to Mount Sinai the endless creativity of, and thinking, I keep saying, in science in Israel, people don't think out of the box. That's a wrong way of looking at it. In science in Israel, there is no box. People think of everything. And then I have this a wonderful opportunity to be able to take this back to, to New York. Uh, so I feel that uh, this is a very lucky and enriching uh, professional opportunity for me. And here in Israel, uh, I should uh, also emphasize that I, I am pertain several, I have several academic affiliations, among many reasons, because we want this neuroscience center in the hospital to be able to bring students from different uh, neuroscience departments in the country, which is in fact happening. So uh, in this context, uh, we, we have students coming from uh, all the universities in the country, including Technion, including Weizmann Institute, Tel Aviv, Be'er Sheva, Hadassah, from literally everywhere. We have been also very fortunate to be uh, attracting students from all over the world. We have been uh, primarily Europe, United States, and Canada. They come, they spend sometimes six months, sometimes a year. Many of them, most of them go back to their studies, and I do have to say that a few of them make Aliyah and stay here, which is for us like the ultimate success to keeping them here. When I try to put in, uh, in one concept, what is it for me to be Israeli, I think it isn't easy to put it together, yeah, but I think the best is that it's yeah, surviving through excelling. I think that it's surviving through excelling, meaning that we do have to be the best, the best we can and just keep getting better with time to be able to survive and to maintain this country over many, many yeah, centuries. And in that sense, yeah, I feel that we're doing a reasonably good job in the sense that I think the knowledge we're producing here at the center and in Israel in general is affecting uh, the world, is being transferred out of the country, is, is doing good to humanity, uh, which I think gives us uh, the strength we need.